This conference will now be recorded. Is everyone able to see my screen? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So we had done till count function, I believe. So any doubts till here? Anybody is having any doubts till here? Okay, now let's go to the next sheet. Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. So now I wanted to see the max and minimum function. Okay, so in order to get the max function, I'll type equals max, open the bracket. And now here I wanted to see the maximum marks in English. So I'll just select the range. So that is from E2 to E6, close the bracket and enter. The same way I wanted to check it out for the history. I wanted you people to try for, with it. So minimum marks in English, so equals min function, select the range, close the bracket and enter. So this is the minimum marks. I'll show you the formula. I wanted you people to try this out. Max and minimum. Done. Yes, ma'am. Okay, now let's go for referencing. So what are reference in Excel? So reference are of three types. Before we get into a uh, reference, I wanted uh, to clarify one thing. So when I'm typing in one, and I am applying the fill handle. So this black color cross. When I apply this, so what Excel has done? Oh, 
copy paste so it had copied the same uh, number till the range now here i'll tell 1 2 okay and i'll select both the things together and now here i will do the fill handle now what excel has done why it has not copied instead it has uh, completed the sequence of number any guess it must be the formula uh, it is not any formula or anything so when i told only one and applied the fill handle excel took the reference of the first cell okay wherein it was only one so excel understood that whatever the range the user is defining i need to copy and paste the same number when i took one and two together and i applied the fill handle excel took the reference of the first two cell and it understood that I need to complete the sequence what she has given, the user has given. Okay. So whenever I am applying this fill handle, okay, this right hand side black color cross, which is called as fill handle, Excel understands that I need to apply the fill handle wherein taking the reference of the first cell. Okay. So here in reference, we have three types. First one is relative reference, absolute reference and mixed reference. So let's understand what is relative reference is. Okay. So relative reference. So here I am giving, I have given an example of month, the total revenue and expenses. And here I wanted to see the net income. So net income, it is very simple calculation. I have taken equals total revenue minus expenses. Okay. I'll press enter again and again. I'm not going to apply the calculation. So instead what I will do is I'll click here to the first cell and double click. My calculation is done. So what Excel has done? Let's look at the formula. So here I told it is B20 minus C20. That is the cell address what I have taken. So B20 is nothing but my re total revenue 25,000 minus C20 which is my expenses 18,560. So when I subtract these two values, I'm getting my net income. When I applied the fill handle excel took the reference of the first cell so here wherein i have applied the subtraction simple calculation i have applied subtraction so it understood that i need to apply the same subtraction to the other selected range also so it took the reference of that first cell and it applied the uh, subtraction and as it is coming to the next cell it is making the necessary changes so when it is here it is taking b 20 minus c20 when it is coming down it is taking the reference of b21 minus c21 again b22 minus c22 like in where till wherever my range is it is going to apply the calculation and fill the range okay so this is called as relative reference so by default whenever when you are writing any type of calculations function formula anything and you are applying the fill handle excel is going to take relative reference so it is going to take the reference of the first cell and is going to fill the other range selected range okay so this is called as relative reference clear about this understood Ma'am, can you please tell it once again? So here, what is relative reference is? So here I told when I give one and I did the fill handle, Excel understood that it has to fill the selected number. So when I gave one, so it, Excel understood that whatever the range the user has taken, I need to copy the same number. But when I took the range like 1 and 2 when I selected and I applied the fill handle Excel understood that I need to fill the selected range with the continuity with the sequence of the number what the user has selected okay so by default Excel take relative reference in any of the calculation function or formula okay so first one relative reference if you see I wanted to check the net income equals total revenue minus expense it's a simple calculation what I'm taking minus c20 enter and again and again i'm not going to apply the calculation what i'll do is i'll come to the first cell i'll go to this right hand side corner and double click on it so automatically my calculation is done how the calculations are done 
So if I look at my formula, I have written B20 minus C20. When I applied the fill handle, Excel took the reference of the first cell wherein I have applied the calculation. It understood that I need to apply the minus. So it has taken minus sign over here by making necessary changes. As I, the values are moving down, it is taking the reference of the next cell. Like from B20 minus C20, when it came down, it has changed it to B21 minus C21. B22 minus C22, B23 minus C23. So like this, it will calculate up the range, whatever I have selected. Okay. So by default, Excel is going to take relative reference in whichever calculation, function and formula you are using. Once you apply the fill handle, Excel is going to perform the same thing, whatever you have done in the first cell and is going to fill the range the same way. Okay. So this is relative reference. Clear ma? Next, we are coming for absolute reference. So after this, you people can try out, try it out. So here, what is absolute reference? So here, either my column or my row will be constant. Okay. So my row and column both will be constant. So here, I have given an example of few employees who have done extra hours that is over time they have worked per hour the wages is 150 now here i need to calculate how much should i pay to john how much should i pay to peter mark henry like this so when i apply the calculation equals so actually it has to be multiplied like 3 into 150 i'll select 3 into 150 i'll press enter i'll come here and i will apply the fill handle have i got the correct values no so there is some no, mistake no. happened so if i check it out what i have done so i have taken 3 into 150 i got the right answer when i'm coming down 4 into empty cell again i'm coming down 2 into gross pay 1 into so wherein how the calculation should have applied it should be 3 into 150 4 into 150 2 into 150 1 into 150 wherein here there should be a flow and here the value should have remained constant so for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to fix the cell fix or i can tell locking the cell making the cell constant or anything freezing the cell anything but here the cell should have remained constant so for that, how am I going to do? So I'll first erase this values. I'll tell equals. So this is 3 into 150. So now can you tell me what is the uh, thing I have taken? So C33. C33 is nothing but C is your column and 33 is your row. Correct? So here C is my column, 33 is my row. Now I'll just press F4 functional key f4 from your keyboard on the topmost you can see f1 f2 f3 f4 is there no so i'm going to press f4 functional key f4 now can you see any changes has happened can you tell me what it, what is the changes that it has applied once i press f4 uh, there is dollar. And the dollar yes so dollar symbol has appeared so dollar symbol it is before c and dollar symbol is before 33 that means c is your column and 33 is your row so when this dollar symbol appears it shows that your column is locked and again your row is locked okay once i press f4 it is excel is locking your column and your row both so now again once again i'll press f4 now the locking system has changed. So I am pressing the same F4 once again. So here now your column is released and row is locked. Once again I will press F4. Your column is locked and row is released. Once again I will press F4. The locking system gets changed. So repeatedly when I press F4 the locking system gets changed. Okay. So here I am going to press F4 in order to keep this 150 constant. Okay. I'll press enter. I'll come here to the first cell and apply the fill handle. This black color cross. Double click on it. So you can see now my calculation is done. Now when I look at the formula, it is B36 into C33. So 4 into 150, 2 into 150, 1 into 150. Wherein you can see the hours 
there is a movement there is a flow and here the cell has remained constant okay this is called as absolute reference so absolute reference so how did i do my absolute reference so here i use the functional key f4 so here my cell was c33 okay so once i press locking so here i got dollar c dollar 33 okay so dollar c means your column is locked dollar 33 means your row is locked so here i have used functional key f4 to lock the cell so this is to lock the cell i hope you people understood so i wanted you people to try with this first one and then the second one and try if you can solve this gst and this 5% also so try to understand the logic and then do it if any doubts you can ask me try with the first one relative reference and absolute reference i have given two other examples i wanted you people to try it out i will show you once you have done Ma'am, uh, should we do it do it from the uh, Excel sheet which you've sent? Yeah, ma'am. Last can... class previously, initially I had shared you one Excel file. No, in that only it is there. So this is the last concept in that sheet. So today, whatever okay. we have, I have shared, we will do it once completing this. Okay.
Ma'am, it's not working for me. Every time I press F4, it just shows me the microphone icon. No, that for that you need to, you are using laptop means you need to press functional key Fn. So at the bottom, you can see near your control alt and windows button, you will be having one Fn key. So before you use any of the functional keys, you need to hold that Fn and then press F4. Okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Getting applied now. Ma'am, is there any other way to use instead of F, uh, FN function, ma'am? Because in my laptop, I'm using as a Chromebook. So directly, if functional key is not there, means that means your uh, laptop is updated once, so you can use directly the functional key. So in the keyboard where there is FN key, that shows that in order to use that functional keys, you need to press FN, or else functional keys will not work. You can just directly try it out. Okay, ma'am, I'll check once. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, the file that has been sent in the group, when I try opening it, yes. it says that the encryption is not available. What does that mean? Encryption is not available. So now, yeah, today, whatever I have said, that one? Ma'am, that one also and the what you sent in the last class, that also. Both so of if them. you are it trying can... to open it in your mobile, encrypted files will not get opened. Ma'am, the unless... it, Is it a MacBook? No, ma'am, it's a Dell. Ah, then it should you should be able to open it, no? Ma'am, I'll send you the see, picture. I... One second, let me see. Picture in which group you have sent my in financial modeling only the file is not getting opened see if I try it out I'll just close this file so I am trying to open my file so it is asking for the protection double zero five eight Okay, so the file gets opened. Did you try with the right password? Did you try with the right password, Ma? The one who asked the doubt, unable to open the file, need to give the password. So for this Excel file, it is 0058. So what about others? Everybody are able to solve it? Ma'am. So are you people able to solve this? So in absolute reference, I have given it for GST calculation and one more discount I have given. So try to understand the logic and then apply. If you did not understand, please ask. I will explain you people once again. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, I have sent in the group, ma'am whatever it is showing yeah I, I you are not unable to one. yeah you have just put this one only no that file is not getting opened mm, yeah ma'am so pick you have sent now yes ma'am
so are you using the licensed version yes ma'am khyati yeah ma'am licensed version for the excel so no, that is why it is not opening with that yes yes so what what do i do ma'am then so that is why it's a licensed version no so hello still in verify that the fine locations one second so it is asking for some file location yes ma'am so when you are downloading try to download it has once the file is available no so just check whether this uh, thing what is available is just in x or is there the symbol is in different way the symbol yeah ma'am i'll check so it should be microsoft excel workbook yeah ma'am i'll check yeah check it should be microsoft excel worksheet why because it is not even locating the file so did you download the file you need to download the file and then open the file and work yeah ma'am so i downloaded so ma'am after downloading itself when i try entering the password and i enter it it comes this way no sometimes if it is a licensed version so ours uh, it is trial version educational version so here uh, whatever the encryption we have done license version will not support to it or else sometimes the file type if it has changed so that then also it will not accept so like here when i come microsoft excel worksheet it should not be like any other file type if it has changed Okay, ma'am. I'll just see so what can be done. Because here the logo, what it is showing is uh, this is the latest version Excel. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Check whether the allocation is proper. Whether it is locating some other thing. is it uh, oh you told it is dell computer right so others are able to access the file right ma'am if there is any setup issues also sometimes it will not work so there might be many technical uh, reasons garki i have shared the file once again you can download the file so others are able to do it are you able to access the file now 
Yeah, ma'am, I'll check one minute. Yeah, yeah. So, others, any doubt? Are you people able to solve or you want me to explain something? Ma'am? Yes, ma'am? Ma'am, still not able to access. What do I do? Uh, maybe there is some setup issues or something. Still, it is showing the same message only. Same thing, yes, ma'am. See, now just I have uh, shared once again. Try to download that file. Last class, you were able to access the same file. Ma'am, the last class I joined using phone, so I thought that it's a problem with the phone. That's why I did not complain. But then this time with laptop also, it's showing the same. Because rest of the girls and all, everybody are able to access the file. Now have shared it once again in the group. Try to download that file. Yeah, ma'am, I'll see. What about others? Are you people able to download and access the file? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So just don't copy the uh, this one calculation, whatever I have applied. Try to understand the logic, how it is applied, and then try it out. I wanted you people to try with this GST one and the sales one also.
Any doubts? Everybody are able to solve it? Okay, let me show how this has to be applied for this GST. So now here I wanted to see the total price with GST wherein they are telling 10% is the GST rate. So total price I am going to apply equals quantity into price. So here no fixing nothing. So I need not have to fix any of the cells. I will press enter and double click. My calculation is done. Now I wanted to check total price with GST. So with this amount how much is 10% of GST is equals total price into I'm going to take this 10% and fix it using functional key F4 enter so it is showing only the GST but here I need to calculate total price with the GST so for that what I will do is I'll just add the bracket in the beginning and at the end plus so this calculation is going to tell me what is the GST rate plus the total price I got my value now the either way how I can do this one is equals total price into open the bracket 1 plus 10 percent which I'm going to fix it so close the bracket enter so both the ways you can apply the calculation however you are going to write Excel is going to show you the answer okay so in Excel it is not that you have to do the things in the same way only you have to follow that method only nothing has such any of the ways you apply also you are going to get the output okay so the second one here so i'll tell equals amount into five percent which i'm going to fix it so using f4 enter and I'll come here and I'll apply the fill handle. The calculation is done. So here I have to just take the amount into 5%. Okay, so this is called as absolute reference when you have to keep any one particular cell constant. Okay, so I can tell it has locking the cell, freezing the cell, anything. So next we are coming for mixed reference. So mixed reference, so this is either my column or my row any one thing I'm going to fix okay so here I'm not going to fix both the things as per the scenario I'm going to fix it so here I'll come so this is my first cell so here I'll tell equals 10 into 1 so it is a simple multiplication table of 10s so 10 ones are 10 I'll come here and double click. Is my calculation right? Is my calculation right? No. The calculation is wrong. So here it should be like 10 ones are 10, 20 ones are 20, 30 ones are 30 like that. So here I'll take. So I'll consider now this 10 and this one's ones as two different scenarios. Okay. First, let's understand A60, that is column A60 row. In this, I told that in a mixed reference, I'm going to lock either my column or my row. Any one thing I'm going to lock as per the scenario. So in this scenario, so when I'm applying this and dragging it down, when I do the fill handle, the values will move from one cell to another cell. That is towards the downwards. So as it is moving, the values will move from A60 to A61, 62, 63, 64. That means I need to lock my column. Why I should lock my column and release my row means so when I am dragging it down, the value should move from 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 like this. That is on the rows, it has to move. So when I am dragging it towards my right, so the values when I drag it is going to move from A60 to A, B60, C60, D60, E60. Wherein the actual multiplication should happen one cell above. That is from A60 to B59. So when I drag the calculation will be applied straight. So wherein it will not go beyond. 
so it will not go back so that's why in this particular scenario that is a60 i'm going to lock my row and release my column for that i'm going to press f4 one time two time third time so here now now my column is locked and row is released now in into one the second scenario so that is b59 so in this when i drag downwards the values will move downwards wherein the calculation will go from b59 to uh, b60 b61 b62 actually the calculation should be happening one cell back that is a60 61 62 so that's why i am going to lock my row why am i going to release my row? columns so when i drag it like this so the values has to move from 1 2 3 4 that means it should be released on my row okay so here in the first scenario my column will be locked in my second scenario my row should be locked so i'll press f4 one time f4 two time now i'll press enter i'll come here drag it towards my right and apply the fill handle towards my so drag it downward and towards my right my calculation is done if i had tried to do it manually it would have taken so much of time for me to do in one single uh, function i have cal calculated the entire table understood any doubts yes ma'am okay so i wanted you people to try with this and try with the next cell also okay next one and next to that also it is there i wanted you people to try with the other twos ma'am can you please can tell, you the, tell uh, the gst one GST again gst yes ma'am yes ma'am this one so here i wanted to calculate the gst okay so usually when it is not given with the total price i will take equals quantity into price that is i35 into j35 quantity into price i am getting my total price now in order to calculate the gst i'll take equals 100 into 10% so when in this particular value should remain constant for that i'll press f4 when i press enter you can see this particular function this particular calculation is telling only the gst value wherein they are asking total price with the gst so now this particular value is calculating gst so i am going to put the bracket in the beginning and in the last okay so this calculation is going to tell me what is the gst rate plus the total enter i got my value the either way how i can apply the calculation is equals total price into open the bracket 1 so whatever the value total price if it is multiplied with 1 it is going to remain the same plus the gst rate i'm going to fix it and close the bracket so 100 into 1 1 plus 10% so 100 plus 10% i'm going to get my output so this is the functions what i have put the calculations it is not function it is basic calculation so either way any of the type you can 
give so excel will understand and will give the output so after this i wanted you people to try with this particular 5% Got it, ma? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. i hope everybody are able to do so if you are done with the absolute reference try with this mixed reference okay once after solving this try with the other two examples what i have given for absolute uh, sorry relative reference so relative reference if i am going to keep my column or my row any one things fix it based on the scenario
are you able to do it any doubts please ask Once it is done, please tell. We'll move to the next concept. Mom, um, Mom, you've given another uh, question, Mom, for the discount. Next. Yes, 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 yes. You told us to do that, Mom. Commission, yeah, commission and discount. No also. commission. Yes, ma'am. For the discount, ma'am, oh, I'm not able to find the correct answer. Oh, You're not okay. able to. Nothing. I I thought we should do twelve thousand minus five percent. Should we do that or just calculate the no, discount? No, 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 no. Into into five percent. Okay. So for our twelve thousand amount, what will be the discount if I'm giving five percent, ten percent, fifteen percent, twenty percent? I hope everybody are able to do it. Try to understand the logic, how it is applied. so that it will be easy when we are doing with the financial statements and after that we have to solve the case study and all so this all are basic concepts in excel so what we are going to do it in uh, for the financial statements and for the this one projects case studies so try to understand the logic how the calculations are being applied if you are not getting it please do ask i'll explain it once again and can you please explain the commission uh, how to fill the commission one that tier one tier two tier three yes yes so here also if i don't know the total price so first i need to calculate the total price quantity into price 
okay i'm getting my total price i'll just apply the fill handle my calculation is done now if this is my total price what is the commission i need to pay if the commission rate is 10 percent 15 percent and 20 percent so here i'm going to take the total price that is q60 now first again i will consider this has two part wherein my total price and the commission rate okay so in this in this total price which one has to be locked so the same uh, this one get rule gets applied what we did it for uh, the table 10 10 ones at multiplication table so in this also the value when i drag it down when i apply the fill handle the values should calculate one below the other that means it should move down so here in this condition first thing is my row should not be locked when i am coming to this q that is my column so the value when i drag it towards my right so the values is going to move from q60 to r60 s60 t60 wherein where it should be applied it should apply with r58 s58 t58 so here i am going to keep my column constant and my row released so i am going to press f4 one time two time third time so here my column is logged and row is released into 10 percent so this is my second scenario where r58 so when i'm talking about the column when i drag it towards my right like this the value should move from r58 to s58 to t58 t58 that means here my column should be released when i'm talking about my row when i'm dragging it down like this the values there are chances that it will move from 10 percent to tire one like this wherein it should not so the value should not move on the row basis wherein it should be moving towards my column so here in this second scenario i'm going to keep my row constant one time two time i'll press enter and i'll drag it towards downwards and towards my right my calculation is done let's check when i press f2 over here so i'll put my cursor in this one and press n f2 so you can see 875 into 10 percent i'm getting this value I come to tier 2, I'll press F2, functional key F2, 875 into 15%. When I come here, 875 into 20%. Wherein the calculation I have applied in only one cell, but Excel has performed the task for all the tires. Clear, ma? Yes, ma. Okay, try it out and try with the other one also so that you can understand how the references will be applied ma'am i had one question like uh, once i have tried using that f and key ma'am but when i'm using f4 key i'm getting my system logged ma'am entire system is getting logged you just try without pressing f and just press f4 one minute ma'am Yeah, ma'am, it's coming, ma'am. So try with the next, uh, this one also, some also.
getting it girls Done. Able to do it. If it is done, let's uh, start with uh, this one dashboard. I'll just give the introduction. It's already 7:15. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So the other one also, you people are able to solve it, right? This one, discount percent. Yes, ma'am. So I hope everybody has downloaded uh, this file, Vrinda e-commerce. So the password for this file is Excel one two three. I'll just explain you about uh, what is pivot table is, how to apply the chart. Basic thing I'll explain so that from next uh, in tomorrow's class we will start working on this, how to generate the sales report, like how to create the sales dashboard. Have you downloaded the file? So usually, I hope everybody has downloaded the file. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, now let's understand what is the data I have. So here I have almost 30,000 data. Okay, so here I have the index number. Okay, so here index number is given and then I, I have the order ID details. I have customer ID and gender like men and women. So age group. So what is the age group like adult? How many people are there? Teenagers? How many are there? Seniors? How many are there? 
and the date of sales that has happened so this is for the entire one year sales data i have okay so in order to identify which particular month the sales has happened so i have taken this month also and the status so is the order been delivered returned or refunded what has happened so what are the channels that we have so online what are the sales channels we have in order to sell it so category wise so what are the categories we have like tops sets kurtas western dress men's blouse all those things and size what are the different types of sizes we have wherein i am talking about small large medium xl double x all those things and quantities number of quantities that have been sold so currency usually it is in inr based only so indian currency based only the amount to which city that uh, shipment has been sent to which state so shipment postal code and business to business so is there is it is sent to the ultimate customer or to the other business so for that i have put this status okay so now this is the raw data what i have so if you see how many number of rows it is there means so it is almost 30000 rows i have okay the data i have so from this data if i have to analyze anything like if i wanted to check so who is the top five customers who has done this so who is the top channel with from where i have made the highest sale how much how many items i have delivered how much of items i have got returned refunded all those things age wise i wanted to categorize and the size wise i wanted to categorize which is the top three states that have been made uh, highest sales so like this if i wanted to analyze any of my data so from this one it is very difficult so it is not an easy thing to analyze my data as per my requirements so now if i wanted to see the top three uh, customers top three states which have been sold or top three categories which have been sold which month i have made the highest profit anything has such it is very difficult so using excel how to create the dashboard if you see so here as per my requirement i have created the so here i have used pivot table first thing i'll explain you what is basic pivot table is so what are the things that we can do and then we will start analyzing on our report okay so here as per my requirement i wanted to see order versus sales then men versus women how much sales they have made how much of men and order status so how much how much is delivered how much is refunded returned and cancelled so top five states which have made the highest profit so age versus gender so adult senior teenagers how much we have sold and channel wise so who is the top most uh, channel which has been made the sales like amazon flipkart mintra misho agio or directly in the outlet i have sold so based on certain informations first thing is i'm going to create the pivot table based on which i'm going to create the cha uh, charts by making the necessary changes so as per my requirement once i have created all the charts then i'm going to put all together in one particular sheet okay so here i have applied the pivot table then i have applied the pivot charts then i have applied the slices so these are the slices what i wanted now i wanted to see so here whatever the charts i have created everything i have put it in one single sheet now when i click this january so january month how much sales it has happened so i'll click on this you can see january month how much sales it has happened so sum of amount count of sales order order id so how much of women's and men's category i have sold so how much percentage of items is being delivered so refunded returned cancelled so top five states which has been done age wise and gender wise so here if you see adults so adult so almost 35 percent sales has happened so like this i can make out from here channel wise if you see amazon has made the highest sales so now whatever the information i wanted so when i look at the raw data it was so difficult for me to analyze but when i have put it on the charts very easily i can make out the details whatever i wanted so if i wanted to check it for the february month march month i wanted to check april month i wanted to check you can see all the charts are reacting for my requirement now i wanted to see category wise so blouse how much i have made the sales so bottom ethnic dress kurtas 
So if I wanted to see channel wise, Amazon, how much they have made the sales, Flipkart, how much it is, Misho, Mintra. So like this, I can analyze as per my requirement. So here we are going to learn how to create the uh, pivot table and the other information and all. So it is already 7.25. So shall I continue it or I'll stop it here, girls? Because here basically we need to understand how the pivot table is applied. What are the changes that I can make on a pivot table? Then how to apply the chart and how the formatting of chart is done. Then in the last we'll see how to apply the slicer. So this is the basic information what I need to explain you in pivot table and then we will create this data analysis. We will we'll do, yes. we'll do it in the next class. Okay. So references, whatever I have taught. So please try it out. Okay. So pivot table will continue in the next class and we'll see how to create this analysis for Runda e-commerce, how to create the sales dashboard for it. So before that, I wanted you people to download this files and keep it ready. Okay. So today we have learned uh, references. Is there any doubts in that? Everybody understood the concept Mom. referencing. Ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, what is pivot table? Pivot table means see here when I'm talking about this is a table. So everything is at a fixed point, isn't it? So just now I explained what are the components that I have. So this is a normal table wherein has the sales is happening. I'm uploading my data. Okay, as and when the sales is happening, I'm going to apply the index. What is the order ID, customer ID, which gender it has been sold, age, age group, date, everything I'm going to apply as and when the sales is happening. And like this only, I have built my report. So day by sales. So today till evening, whatever the sales has happened. So 30 days, how much sales has happened, that will become my monthly sales. So each and every month, January month sales, February month sales, March month sales, accumulated together, it becomes the sales for the year, annual sales, isn't it? So now I have this information, which are at a fixed point. Now as per my requirement, whenever I'm telling that I wanted to see, so what are the age group which have been made so sales about? or which month has made the handsome profit or which month has made the loss. So who is the top customer? So anything has such when I have my table like this, the values are at a fixed point. So if I have to copy paste or rearrange, reorder my table, anything, it is very difficult because my table, the values are at a fixed point over here. So now what is pivot table? So in Excel, in the insert tab, we have the option called pivot table. So what is pivot table means? It is also to create a table, but as per my requirement, I'm not going to take this entire data into picture. Okay, I'm not, I don't want all those informations. I need the informations which I require. Okay, so here I'm not going to take customer ID, status, or whatever the category set, what is the currency, all those things I don't want. So as per my requirement, here you can see, here I have taken only the month I wanted to see in this particular month, how much amount has been made sale and how much, which is the order IDs. Like January month, order ID 2702, till there I have made the sales like that. So this is the highest sales that has happened. Means in the entire year, January month has made the highest sales. So by this easy, this one. So here I have created a pivot table wherein out of this entire table, I have taken only three information. That is my month, the amount, sale, sum of amount and count of order ID. So in this, I'm going to get to know that January month. So which month has made the highest sales? Very easily I can make out. So I have not taken my entire table into picture whatever the information I need I'm going to take it so wherever I wanted to place it either on my row on or on my column I'm going to place it according to my requirements so Excel will give me that flexibility to to create the table so you are not going to take the entire table you are going to take only the information what you want which point where you wanted to place either in the rows columns whichever you wanted to place accordingly Excel will make it flexible 
So as per my requirement, I have put this row labels like sum of amount, count of order ID. I wanted it in the rows and this months I wanted it in the columns. So when I click here on the pivot table field list, so like this I have my list. See, I have this fields like I have filters, columns, rows and values wherein in rows I wanted the month. So I dragged this month and dropped it in rows and in values I wanted amount and count of ID. So when I put this so out of the so many headings, I have taken only the required ones and I have created my table. So whichever I wanted in the columns, whichever I wanted in the rows, I'm going to place it and accordingly Excel is going to create my table as per my requirement. Likewise, I have done for men and women, order status, everything. So tomorrow we'll see. First, we will understand how the pivot table is created and then we will create this analysis. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So you people can leave for the day. So practice whatever I have taught. So tomorrow we'll start with this. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.